call it Entity Part 2. Ran last time? I don't remember. I'll turn it off or not. What's up, guys? What's up? I'm over at Nasty's. Hi. And last time we took the big Grizz out, or he took the big Grizz out. It broke. Oh, hi. You're on me. You're good. You, I can see you. Yeah. Um, Same part again. Is this the fourth time? Third time? Uh, I believe it's the fourth. You want to explain what it is? Yeah, the rear CV shaft. So it looks like this. Let's do this guy. Pops in the back in there. Comes out. Spins the tire. Yeah. This right here, this knuckle, I broke three times now when we go riding. It's usually when we get into the whoop stuff. Yeah, it's a little too much for it, I think. So today, we're going to do a... Swap. Swap. Again. What is that part called? This is a GoPro. I'm What's swapping GoPro? the battery. C CV shaft. CV shaft replacement. On uh, what year is this? Uh, 2008. 2008 Yamaha Grizzly 700. Yep. Yeah. We'll be back in a few. We'll be back. One. Yeah. We're getting there. We're ready to be jacked up. So we're going to take the tire off. Take the tire off. Yeah. Step two. Jack it up. Oh, we're up. Somebody <laughs> just threw something. Look at that. Is it the ice cream man? <laughs> the ice cream man. Come on, ice cream. Come on, ice cream. Look at don't, that. Don't scan that one because see where it's crooked. Oh, that one is. Yeah. That's the first one I've seen like that. But go to the last video. No, don't do that. Go to the Atlanta review video. Oh, it still is. And you'll see that. Yeah, you can bend it to where it works. Yeah. Um, we're trying to kill. Anyways. Uh, yeah, if you're around and we're out, we we'll, might hand you out a couple of these. Yeah. Also, when we do 500 subscribers, we talked about a giveaway. We did yeah. order keychains, and yeah. whoever is picked gets a hand signed koozie by Nasty and yours truly, Big Sexy. Yeah. We got ice cream. I forgot. I gotta go check out a little man's motorcycle. All right. I forgot I put the spacers on. It's been that long. Oh yeah, we got spacers. Yeah. That actually made this thing feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah. I didn't do it for looks. It was super skinny. Go back in. Yeah. All right. We gotta remove the wheel spacer next. Okay. Seat crest out. Technical difficulties. I was like, which one am I looking at? I feel like I'm on the news. <laughs> Sockets with the impact wrench from Harbor Freight. Okay, wheel space is off. Wheel space is off. Wheel. This is step three. Step three. What's step four? Ah! Uh, turn the fan down? I can't remember. Yeah, turn the fan down. Step pop four, pop this cover down. off. Yeah, look at that. Step negative one should have been clean the four wheeler, but I didn't feel like Step it. I didn't feel like Step it. four, turn the fan down. Step. Oh, I turned it right off. Three and a half. Clean the four wheeler. Okay, we're gonna have to pause. We need a bigger socket. And we need to turn the fan back on. Okay. Step four ish five. Take this thing off. Wow, that pulled right off there. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we found yeah. something concerning. This is real life. This is real life. I was gonna say I need some Allen wrenches. I just looked in here. I was like, 
way that I planned that for the movie. Are we cleaning mud out of there? Yeah. We're cleaning mud out of there. This was actually clean. It's the mud jobbers. They filled that in. Yeah. He's talking about the wasps. They didn't actually do that. Good try. Well, and then the doctor goes, you're a real shallow breather. So you're fucking shallow. Put that on Is that on? Is it on? <laughs> I didn't even know it was on. <laughs> You're not shallow, doctor. Let me see this. Love you. Kind of so we got step seven now? Yeah, roughly. We got there's two bolts to this thing on. Yep. Okay. So we took this nut off. We're gonna go around these two to get this whole assembly out of our way. The brake line's still gonna be hooked up, so we gotta be careful. And then we'll be able to pop this whole thing off by popping it back there. Yeah, it was too. I'm looking, I'm like, why is Dustin working? I can't believe they're all the same size. I wonder if I need to take We're back. We're back. I got a hammer to use another end. It's hammer time. You need to put some lube on that. Oh wow, that bolt's fucked up. Yeah, that was loud. Give me the beat! It's harder than that, you gotta use the bolt. Give me the one for her! It's almost out. Probably would have been easier to take the top off. For anyone wondering, he is ASS certified. Yeah, I went to MMI. Did he go to MMI? Motorcycles mechanics. Certified ASS mechanic. Right there. So, yeah. yeah, real certified. So that bolt is messed up, but I think we're seeing the reason why. Because I don't oh, yeah. well, think we're supposed to use these pry bars. Pop the top off. Pop the top off. That's what she's saying. There you go. See, we're doing this because we're tired of seeing all the videos online where everyone's like, it's real easy to do it. Yeah. Show, show I'm not saying that. like there's a place that sells lots of parts it has a YouTube channel and they're like all you're gonna need is a screwdriver and a 10 millimeter to do this entire deal yeah and they're like they replace the whole clutch in their own shop and it's like oh this should only take five minutes because that's how long the video takes and then an hour later, you have to call a mechanic because you broke it. Like me, it's okay. See, now he's using an uh, extension. An extension? I think our issue is how rusty you probably need to, yeah, the rhubarb is. Rhubarb. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Step number 14. Don't pinch the brake line. Don't pinch the brake line. Yep. Cool. All right. right. Now this should technically pop off here. And we're going to continue recording through the whole process. Yeah, the whole part. Dude, the flies in this place are nuts. So that. Do you like poop your pants? Yeah. Oh. So like the video show. What, what do you got there? Let's see what you got. So these yeah. are the pry bars that you use when you're at home. This is at Harbor Freight and the whole set for about $4.99 for 30 of them. Yeah, that's and this, I think, there. this I think I got from a garage sale for 25 cents. Yeah. Don't question him. He's ASS certified yeah. mechanic. And uh need that hammer thing again. 
Why am I sweating so bad? It's not. So in case you're wondering, those tools he's using, people would be like, oh, that's flathead screwdriver and a hammer. No, no. That is actually from Yamaha as a CV tool extractor kit. I just used this extractor kit. No big deal. Got it off. Where's the probe? Oh, right here. Look at that. I should call her. Let's try not to last say that one. Well, it's step 37. Pop it in. You gotta grease it first? Yeah, I'm gonna put some on. Gotta lube it. You gotta get a uh, piston ring collapser to collapse the ring to put it in the cylinder. Ask your mom. Don't ask your mom. Where you going? Oh, it's gonna get Gotta use lube. Anyways, yeah. And those packets. Broken CV shaft. Soon to be broken CV shaft. Bet you it goes to St. Helen. Getting rid of some schmutz. This is step number, what are we on? 63? 63, I think? Yeah. Step 63, take that box. Yeah, put this on there. And then set that on top of it. But then pump it again. That's step 67. Oh, yeah. You see how it squirts out of there? Watch. Oh. <laughs> that was a good squirt. I can't wait to get the email. This is flagged deep sensitive. Uh, yep, see it? Watch it drip off the end of the shaft. Come on, you see that? And if you're wondering, that's certified ASS talk. That's not disgusting. Yeah. That's a CV shaft. Now he's got a five which really wants to go in. He's got to get rid of the beans. We didn't use enough glue. In? No, no. I think I remember you used to have a mallet last time. Put it in straight, pop it in. Pop. Pop. Yeah. Let me grab it. I know where that's at. So it's back. It's also like your mom's house. So, Nasty just went in and got his CB shaft inserter tool. Break it? No. Just trying to make sure. I don't like the way that, like, it's gotta, it's gotta squeeze that. See the clip on there? Yeah. It's gotta squeeze that clip in there. You gotta make sure it goes slow enough and it pinches down. Okay. See how that one's still on that? Break it. At least we got a backup on break it. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's just kind of an annoying. So as you can see, the shaft is being inserted into the drive. There is the... Did you get that straight from Yamaha? Yeah. Yeah. Inserter tool. That felt like the start of Yeah. Might have to... Uh... I'd like to have you pull up on this AR. Okay. Yeah. I'll be right back. It's an exciting moment. I get to work with an ASS certified mechanic. I'm not even filming where I need to be. Hold it in the right spot, son. Oh. I felt to go in. Oh, she's in. Just the tip. Oh, not the tip, the whole thing. The whole shaft slid in. Oh, I just oh. want to take credit for that. There we go, we did Disclaimer, it. Disclaimer, I'm not ASS certified, but it's done. 
That was. That's 50 percent. Teamwork makes dream work. Yeah. Okay. So we did step 109. Yeah. Off camera, just because if it didn't work, we didn't want to look like. Like on. this is a home. Like a home auto parts store. So now we're on step 137. Put the top nut back in here. There's, we're on the news. I got two, I don't know which camera to look at. I'm going to grab this one over here for a second. So, you got to grab the top nut. So we slid this through so you put the shaft back in this end. Then we're going to put this guy in, this bolt. Now we got to cast the nut back on here. And then the wheel spacer. And we'll speed you up in a minute when we're back to that. Okay, love you, bye. Wow. <clears throat> There's a whole ring. Yeah. Bad one. We'll just have to get a new one. So what are you doing now? I'm going to lube up the shaft before I put it in. Smart. Using leftover loop. Savage. See how it drips off the end, right? Gosh. That's the pre drip. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> now you know it's ready. There's a hole. Now you know it's ready. Okay, we're on step 173. Yeah, we're trying to. The threads aren't ready. It's only one camera going high. That's why I just put the battery. Yeah. Wow. What's that? It's low. It's showing yellow. It's, it's been on for a while. Short to spec or cross threaded tight is tight. Just so you know. Short to spec or cross threaded tight is tight. Some of y'all need to learn that. You see how when I come down, I'm releasing my grip. That's uh, ergonomically correct. It doesn't matter if you're going this way or this way. You want to release. Just say it. What the hell is going on? Uh oh. We might have to get that back up. Oh, it's just spinning on the other side. Uh. Of course, it doesn't go up. Huh? What the heck? Pause. Spacer's going back on. I'm actually going to go get some Loctite because I don't want this coming loose. And what happens if that comes loose? Then Firestone, was it Firestone tires? They get a recall, a bunch of people, the tires go flying off the road, popping. And that's what you don't want. Yeah, so we'll get that. Step 224. Loctite. Loctite. You don't want your shit coming off. That's how the kids are made. How did this get here? It ain't the right size. Oh, it's the new one. Yeah. Huh, they changed the size. Let's try one of these over here. That looks bigger. Oh, I can't 
I don't have one big enough. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. We switched out the uh, castle nut. Castle nut. Because they wanted to be stupid, change the size on it. This is uh, torqued to 118 foot pounds, according to the manufacturer, if you look online. It feels like it's there. It looked like it was there. Okay. So that was step 264. Tighten the castle nut. Spacers go on. 265, we're putting the spacer on. Oh wait, we're wiping it down. Yeah, wiping it down first. Then you put it on without getting locked tight everywhere else. Try that. Step 266. Do Turn these, them yeah, do these by hand too and make sure everything's not wiggling. You don't want this stuff all jacked up. Flopping right out. And then it's straight from Nasty's Apple Watch. Yeah. I get really much. I keep that up when I can. Go in the house and take care of some business. Goodness. Look at how slow that pan is. One day it'd be sweet if we can get air conditioning. Why does it seem like every time we do a video lately, it gets like really hot out? Because of your schedule. Oh yeah. Which, by the way, August will be another trip to St. Helen. Taking my boys, my other buddy, his boys. And I'll be in Traverse City, so I can't make it. Traverse City, so he can't make it, of course. We might make a video for Traverse City too, so you guys can check out the, the scenery. It's not dirt track duel, but neither was the race that I filmed today, if I put that video out. It's, it's not dirt. In the meantime. But last week's video, which you haven't seen yet, is the off-roading through the city. You haven't seen it at this point, because this is going to come out in a couple weeks. But it was really hot, and when we really didn't want to go anywhere, so we just took the side by side out in the city. So it's not all dirt, even though we're dirt track duel. It's hard with schedules and finances to be able, I'd love to be at Dirt Fest right now with R3 and the dirt dudes are at the Ionia, Ionia Fair doing the side-by-side -side race. Love to be there with them. That's pretty cool. Rollskin Harley went by. Who? The Rollskin Harley. Oh. But yeah, financially, we're not there yet. Mostly because we're forced to bill ourselves for all of this, which is no big deal, because we enjoy it. We do this stuff anyways. We go riding, we do dumb stuff. By the way, I just take a look at the, the pad on the brakes. I saw that, we saw that. That was like way back oh. 200 steps ago. So the pads are good, just so you know. Maxi Pad's a good brand to go with if you need to look up pads. Shit. That was weird. Everything tightened down? Yeah. Alright, so step 307 is we're putting the tire back on. Tire back on. Yeah, our goal is to get there someday to where we can go and do this stuff. We can go to Dirt Fest. I'd love to someday be in Cletus and Cars. Do side by side races. I came with Pioneer. Nasty and I are in the talks right now about figuring out how to get another side by side. Yeah. Because he needs one and. Oh no. I think the camera just died. Oh no. That's alright, this one's about to too. Anyways, talking about getting a side by side, another one, probably something sporty instead of Roy Pioneer. That's in the future though. That's, that's finances need to be adjusted before we do that. So. Yeah, we gotta buy a tanning bed first. What? We're buying a tanning bed first. For what? 
Dinner time comes, you need vitamin D. Everybody knows that. Okay. Anywho. Yeah. Tires back on. I think you said something like, what was it, 450 foot pounds? Yeah. That's not serious. Don't ever take anything we say seriously. Disclaimer. Yeah. Everything we do is not smart. Everything we say is not true. We did it. The quad is out there and fixed. New CB rear shaft on it again for the port tuck. So we'll uh, bring you back next time we got to replace it again. But uh, that's a wrap for today. Video. There's Matthew G behind you. Big sexy. And it's hot. Taking GoPro parts off. Yeah, he's taking parts off his unit. Okay. We'll okay. see you guys next time. That's it. Right here. Um, dirt track duel. If you see us out, we'll pass a couple of these out to you. Yeah, I've been handing them out, people I see. Um, yeah, the next trip is going to be St. Helen again with the boys. Yep. And then in September, St. we've Helen got again. St. Helen again. And then Trek the Mac, we're riding a side by side across the we bridge. We might be able to fit like a day ride if we can get it. In we're August. working on it, it's, it's okay. all scheduling and work yeah we gotta talk to our schedulers and aka our wives okay we're back battery died um yeah trying to get one more ride in for this before st helen for in september shit fest too mm -hmm. that's already booked we're ready to go to that um i wanted to get the arctic cat out and hit the trail with that that's Might have the goal a couple newcomers to the st helen trip in september maybe Ooh. Tommy's buddies. From his, oh, uh, yeah. Maybe a party. couple new ones. We'll see. Yeah, Tailbone and Tommy. Tailbone and Tommy. Miss you, Tommy. Yeah. Um, I think he's at the fair today. Fair's going on, too. Okay. Yeah, not the cool one with side by side races, but. Yeah. Um, We're done. Cool. That's a wrap. See you guys next time. We'll see you next time.
Another one. Here we go. Oh, look at that, <laughs> that wheel height. <laughs> it's my windshield. There we go. It's fast off the start and it dies. Yeah. Oh, it says they have the horn. Yeah. Here we start. Get out of here.